Hello and welcome to Crystal Clear Maths Solutions. Today we are going to solve this problem. Find the radius of a sphere of volume 990 centimeters cubed to four decimal places. Use calculus to determine the approximate change necessary in the radius to cause the volume to increase to 1000 centimeters cubed. Solution. So this is the application of calculus where we deal with small changes. Okay? So let's just uh, start by finding the radius to four decimal places, just as the question requires. So what we need to ask ourselves is, how do we find the radius? We have the volume. Volume is equal to 990 centimeters cubed. We need to find the radius, okay? Now, let's R the radius and V be volume, okay? So what is the formula to calculate the volume of a sphere? Using V and R, volume is given by 4 over 3 pi R cubed. From the information given, we have 990 is equal to 4 over 3 pi R cubed. We make R the subject of the formula. So this is by multiplying all through by 3 over 4 and dividing by pi, okay? This implies that r cubed is going to be equal to 990 multiplied by 3 divided by 4 pi r cubed is equal to so what is the value of this using your calculator 990 times 3 divided by 4 pi this is equal to 36.34 Therefore, R is going to be equal to cube root of 236.34 and this is going to be given by 6.18288 centimeters that's the radius, okay? So the next part of the question tells us use calculus to determine the approximate change necessary in the radius to cause the volume to increase to 1000 centimeters cubed. So this is application of calculus under small changes and on small changes 
we said that uh, dy over dx is the same as small change in y or over small change in x. Okay? So for our case here, we are going to use v and r. Therefore, the v all over dr is the same as small change in v all over small change in r. Okay? So what we need to find? What we need to find is the change in r. Because we are asked for the approximate change necessary in the radius. Okay? So what we are interested in is this small change in r. So we make small change in r the subject of the formula okay and this will give us small change in v multiplied by uh, dr or over dv okay so we have our equation v is equal to 4 over 3 pi r Cube. From here, we find dv dr, dv dr, which is going to be equal to, we differentiate this with respect to r, we will have 3 times 4 over 3 will give us 4, then pi r 3 minus 1, 2, okay, so that is dv dr. But when you look at our formula, because we need to find small change in R, you will find that we need dr over dv. So 4 pi r squared is dv over dr. Therefore, what we need is dr over dv. And this can be given by the reciprocal of this, which is going to be equal to 1 over 4 pi r squared. Okay? Therefore, small change in r is going to be given by small change in v what is our small change in v the small change in v is small change in v is equal to 1000 minus 990 and this is equal to 10 okay it's equal to 10 centimeters cubed all right so small change in r is going to be equal to using this formula 10 multiplied by dr over dv dr over dv is equal to 1 or over 4 pi r squared and this is going to be equal to 0. 0, 2, 0, 8, 2. Of course, this is radius, so it's in centimeters. So, this is the change in radius that is required to change the volume or to increase the volume of this sphere from 990 centimeters cubed to 1000 centimeters cubed. And therefore, this becomes our answer. Thank you very much and see you next time. Remember to leave a comment and subscribe.